what up? Today's the last day of actual orientation. Now we're just waiting on our trainers. Uh, we signed more paperwork today, basically. Went through one more class. The last class consisted of uh, some, you know, stories uh, from one of the uh, administrative individuals of what it's like when you're driving while fatigued and things like that, which is very important. You know, it's easier, obviously, to pull over when you're fatigued and get some sleep uh, because it'll save you a whole lot of uh, trouble, you know, heartache, you know. It could go from a minor collision to, you know, anything from uh, someone getting hurt or even involuntary manslaughter. So it's just easy to go ahead and get some caffeine in your system and get some rest. Uh, you know, caffeine doesn't matter, but when you get some rest plus caffeine, you know, you're out of, wide awake and ready to go. Uh, they call it power naps. Uh, then also we went and got our final CDL. We had our CDL permit, which came in the mail. We went to the DMV in, in uh, Mesquite, Texas, and uh, basically they just asked us for the same information we provided uh, the other DPS when we got our classification uh, permit, you know, CDL permit. Uh, the information was still intact, which is your birth certificate and everything else we had to show, but you still want to bring it the second time in case they purge the system, meaning they could have erased everything. So just make sure uh, you get that done. And then uh, when they send you your, your appointment, make sure you get the appointment times. When we got there, a lot of the emails they were sending, there was a lot of us that didn't have an actual time on there. We knew the approximation, but not the actual time. After that, we went back. Uh, to the main campus, Stevens main campus, and we ate lunch and then we went and talked to qualifications where basically that's the final phase in hiring. Uh, if you talk to qualifications, uh, they gave us a Ram McNally, you know. So this is actually what I was looking for when they gave us our initial uh, supplies list to bring. I was actually looking for an Atlas. I looked everywhere too. They're online, they're expensive, but they gave us a real expensive one here. The Ram McNally. You see, it says Stevens on there. So they got a. They got everything for us. They got everything straight as payroll. We talked to our driving counselor. So the driving counselor, as they pointed out, uh, if there's any issue or whatever, we just, you know, any random questions we call a counselor. But even if we don't have any issues, we're supposed to call once a week. Uh, and they give you a call day. My call day is on uh, Thursday. So Thursday, anytime I call, you know, and just check in because obviously they want to make sure we're still driving and we're not missing somewhere, et cetera, et cetera. Yeah, that's an expensive truck to drive. So from here on out, uh, we then talk to our uh, trainer counselor. So basically, trainer assignment individual, she's uh, calling around trying to get the rest of us that don't have a trainer yet uh, in line to go ahead and get on the road and get the rest of our training. Once you get the rest of our training, we, we then come back to the Dallas campus and we go through our quick graduation and we get our own truck. Basically, at this point, let's see, I have it right here. We're going to be going through learning how to use our WEX card. Uh, we have a whole passenger orientation that we have to go through. Then we have our mound requirements. Our mound requirements, we have uh, we have to go over our brake schedules. Obviously, we're going to have to have brakes because, you know, new drivers, we have to know when we need to, you know, get in control of our fatigue or, you know, when we're sleeping, etc. Passenger rules, regulation. These are not, even though we're riding with a trainer, we're going to be driving or wearing the second seat is what they call it. Uh, there's still rules and regulations. Uh, and then we also have our DOT regulations we have to know. And we have our 70-hour DOT regulations. Our restarts, so there's consecutive hours that you're on duty and consecutive hours that you're off duty. Uh, then we have out-of-hours compliance. Uh, start of each work week. You can go through the middle of the work week and how to log everything we're doing as we go. Inactive status. Uh, then we also have to do our, this is all driver's compliance here. 
we also have to learn uh, uh, containing our 240 hours. You know, we're going to have to learn the mountain drive. Uh, let me see if I can find that. Hold on a second. Yeah, I got the, uh, the list here. So there's an overview of the program I was trying to tell you about. I just had to find the paper. I put it down somewhere. This is overview of the program. It's going to be five to six week goal of 30 or 40 days, uh, which is hours, 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 a minimum of 240 hours. It's basically about a month and a half, uh, which is uh, 30 days in a month. So half a month is 15 days. It said 30 to 40. It's almost a month and a half, basically six weeks. Uh, then we have to go through two mountains using our Jake break, which is, you know, how to slow down an 80,000 pound vehicle without, you know, running through something. And uh, we have to do the Jake break without Jake only in inclement weather. And one mountain must be west of I-25. In Northeast, our trainee must drive in and out of a shipper or receiver in the Northeast region. Send a message 49 for verification. Then we're gonna go West Coast. And we have our test to complete. We're going to complete our orange card, trainer and students to complete, and then we graduate. All right, so the orange card that we've been carrying around with this whole time we're on, we're on campus over there. So it's the orange card here. It has a whole bunch of information in it, obviously. And uh, it's called second seat information, which means the training. Well, like it has uh, categories in it. Uh, like we had to do our our PTI brake test, seat belts, coordination, clutch and fuel. Uh, we don't have to do shifting. We did defensive driving, uh, how to drive slowly in particular areas, especially where there's a lot of trucks around and a lot of high traffic, signals and signs, corners and turns, turn signals, uh, mirrors left, right, exiting ramps, hazmat, four ways, then we went through coupling, uncoupling, exit entry, how to get in correctly into your tractor. Uh, then we also went through first skills, second skills. We did stop pulling, stop pull out. Uh, we actually did our coupling and uncoupling. But what's his name? Didn't check him off. We did Serpentine, we did OSL backing, uh, 90 setup, 90 backing, Hunts Point straight line back shifting. All right, and then the rest of this we have to fill out on our own. So as we go through our driver checklist, uh, we have to go through our accident procedures, safety policies, maintenance, truck and trailer. We have our hazardous materials, temperature control, loads, and mount driving. Then we got our trip paperwork, logs, backing, driving, overall professional conduct and attitude, which obviously our trainer is going to rate us on. So there's no point in having a bad attitude, no matter you know how fatigued or whatever you know we're supposed to. If you're really, really fatigued. Uh, we're supposed to sleep in the bottom bunk when, when he's driving. Uh, if he's not driving, then obviously we fold out the top bunk and then it's top and bottom bunk. I'm guessing the push comes to shove, you know, uh, as long as he's not working, we might have an extra day where we can get a hotel room and, you know, separate for 24 hours rather than trying to call a counselor and all that. But if not, you know, me making money is making money. You know, this is the time when we should be able to uh, put differences aside and do what we need to do to get the money done. You know, we're on a team now. You see right here, it says uh, Stevens Transport. You know, it's a team, basically. We're all part of one well-old machine that's been around for a while. And we're all just another new part. We need all do our individual parts to make the entire machine run uh, efficiently. You know, and we get paid for it, too. You know, I don't see any problems with that, man. Uh, that's basically all we did today. So I'll talk to y'all next time.